What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back with a brand new video. Today we're going to Taco Bell to try the new crunchy cheesy pour filled burrito. I have no clue how to fucking say the whole entire thing, but basically it's just a burrito in the middle. It's going to have a cheesy core and I think it's called the crunchy cheesy core burrito. Yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to get steak and chicken. Beef is kind of just like a blah thing to me. I have to make a quick little pit stop at GameStop. Go watch my video, the GameStop pack. I think it has a thousand views or something like that. So I got a big bag full of cables. I bought them on eBay wholesale. I have about 24 cables. I'll probably get like $39 store credit at GameStop. Grab a few gift cards and get my food. So I traded in all those cables and I got $42.50. A little bit more than I thought. I think she messed up one of the cables. They had some special where like if you bought two cards or something, you got like 10% off the next card, which is really stupid, but I don't really care. I think I paid 60 cents for all three cards. I got Wendy's, Taco Bell, and Dairy Queen. So you guys can figure out what kind of videos are coming up in the next couple days. Just to break it down for you guys a little bit better. Every time that I trade in those cables and get the $39 or $42 or whatever it is, I'm usually spending like 12 to 13 dollars cash. So you're pretty much like tripling your value basically turning cash into Gift cards, which is still like really good Like I'm a pretty good hustler in my opinion when I say the word hustler I sound like some kind of gangster or something It's kind of cool, but like it's kind of like stupid anyone could do it You just got to like know the right cables like I think the lady messed up the ps3 cable because it's a ps3 AV cable It cost me like 40 cents on eBay for each cable and it trades in for a dollar 65 and I think she put the component cable, it trades in for $2.75, so I think it gave me a dollar for every extra cable. That's why I got $42 instead of the $39 I usually get. So I was waiting for my food and I was just like thinking to myself, I'm like, do I want to really ask them how they make it or do I want to keep it a secret? Because if you think about it, how do they get that cheesy ass center without getting the rest of it all soggy? Because it's a crunchy burrito. I think it's going to be wrapped in a crunchy like shell and then wrapped with a soft shell on the outside. That would make sense. All right, so I got my big bag full of Taco Bell. Taco Bell live moss if you guys don't know any Spanish that means live more so I got a bunch of napkins I don't like the little dispensaries because you have to like pull them out one by one and they get all like nasty and messy And I feel like I've already used them. It's really weird So I got a bunch of different things from Taco Bell slash KFC. I got some coleslaw I got the core burrito. It is really big actually and cheesy core burrito Whatever you guys want to call it. I'm just gonna call it the cheesy core It's only two dollars and seventy five cents I believe and that's because I upgraded it to the chicken. I got one chicken and one steak and then I also got a chicken little and then I also got an apple empanada this thing is like 10 times better than the apple pie at McDonald's all right so we're gonna get into this cheesy core burrito and oh my god this thing is freaking burning hot you barely go to fast food places anymore and have this like so hot I kind of want to go get a knife real quick and cut into it and see if the cheese is actually right down the middle like it did in the picture I don't know why I grabbed the sharpest knife but I found a really sharp knife to cut this burrito in half And <laughs> I just like looked right into it and I looked into like a big mess. This thing doesn't look very delicious. It looks like something left over from like a pool party or something that like someone left out and it's been in like a refrigerator for like 10 years. <laughs> Here is what it looks like. I guess there is cheese in the middle. It's not a very attractive item at Taco Bell. I'm gonna give you guys a first bite of it and let you guys know how it is, but just looking at it, it looks bad, but maybe I wasn't supposed to cut right down the middle of it. <laughs> It tastes a lot like a chicken cheese enchilada. And I'm not saying it's delicious, but it is good. It's just not like great. Like if I had to rate this thing right off the bat, I'd give it like a six or seven out of 10. It's just not something I would get all the time. I'd rather than bring back the bacon chalupa. You guys remember that shit? That thing is so delicious. Mm. This thing was supposed to be crunchy. It's not crunchy at all. I think these little chips were supposed to be the crunchy part, but they all just got soggy. Here you go. Pound it. There you go. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. If you guys haven't seen Stranger Things on Netflix, it is a really, really, really good freaking show. But I really suggest it to my subscribers to at least try the new Cheesy Core Burrito. Mm. I like this side of the burrito more because it has all the sour cream on it. 
Mm. Also a really good show on Netflix that I've been watching is The Get Down. It's like a late 70s disco rap show. It's just a really good show. You guys gotta go check it out. I'm taking my last final bites of this cheesy core burrito. And I gotta say, this side is so much better than the first side that I had. I guess they just made it really badly. <laughs> and all the good stuff is on this side and all the bad stuff was on the other side. Off camera, I was just going to town on that thing. I was about to take the last bite and I was like, wait, we gotta film this. Last bite of the new cheesy core burrito. So I'm actually really impressed with Taco Bell's new cheesy core burrito. I'm really unimpressed with how hard it was for me to say that whole entire name, the crunchy core. See, I'm still messing it up. The crunchy cheesy core burrito. There's also a spicy cheesy core burrito, but you guys know I don't like spicy food, so I'm not trying that one. I could pretend to eat it and say it's spicy and be like, <laughs> but really, I would be lying, so I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm really thinking about shaving off my hair now because you guys could see after every time I take a shower, it just changes a different color. Now it's like gray and purple and blue, and like I can see pink in there. I'm just thinking about shaving it all off and then uh, growing it back to my normal hair color, which is the eyebrows, which is like a dirty blonde. If there's a Taco Bell in your area, make sure you guys go try the Crunchy Cheesy Core Burrito. I'm serious though, it was actually really good. I give it like an eight out of 10. Make Make sure you guys become a subscriber, slap that thumbs up button, comment down below if you guys have tried the new crunchy cheesy core burrito. Have a nice day. Peace out guys, bye bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.